on the back of a kilt belt buckle, <clears throat> there is a bridge on one side and then a, a big hook, a wide hook on the other side. So a kilt belt, you pass the leather through the bridge and double it back on itself and connect it either via Velcro or an internal buckle. And then on the other end of the belt, there's a D-ring which connects to that wide hook. Now, the it is an advantage. I'm going to go in, I'm going to answer your question in a second. It's an advantage because once you've velcroed the inside of the belt at the right spot, you just literally wrap it around you and it's going to hook to the proper tension versus a uh, a buckle with the two prongs or one prong where you actually have to, you know, put it into a hole on the belt. Now, the problem that he's describing is on the back of the belt, the bridge sits lower or higher, as it were, than the hook side. So the problem is when you sit, put the belt on, that side, the right side or the left side, depending on the manufacturer, of the kilt belt will sit more proud of your belly than the other side. So as you look down at the kilt belt, it's kind of tilted out on one side and tilted in on the other side. That is a known flaw. Most kilt belt buckles have this flaw. The only way that we've kind of counteracted it minusculely, that's a word, right? Sure. Minusculely? Sure, yeah. Sure. Um, We've counteracted it a little bit in the buckles that we are actually having made specifically for us is we move the hook part of the buckle in a little bit more towards the center by about a half inch or so. So the other side of the buckle that normally comes back a little bit more sits on the leather of the second side of the belt, not like the, the metal ring area, whatever. Um, so, the, but that being said, there's not a lot you can do about it. Yeah, not really. You're basically, you're taking a bridge and then you're putting a piece of leather, you know, thick leather if it's a good belt, in front of the bridge. And all of that is coming off of your body by about half inch to three quarter inch. And on the other side, it's only, it's only coming off about a quarter inch. So you have about a half inch difference between the two. Yeah. Um, I will say this from the aspect of someone who has seen it, worried about it, tried to counteract it, and deals with it, who has that same kind of OCD as you say, um, you're just going to have to suck it up. There's not a lot you can do about it. Um, there's, yeah, outside of building up the backside of the buckle on the hook side Uh, it's just it's gonna be what it's gonna be so you just have to accept it and move forward with your life um don't lose sleep (laughs) over it don't try to you know re-engineer the wheel i have done my best as somebody who's concerned about it to try to fix it um but it is what it is every buckle that we get from every manufacturer that we get them has the same kind of issue yep yeah there's, there's yeah Sorry, not sorry. It's no, it is what it is. Sympathize, yeah. definitely sympathize. Yeah, sy- oh yeah, sympathize. Yeah. Not even empathize. Sympathize. Yeah. I see it. I know it. I hate it. Not much we can do, bro. <laughs> <laughs>